Section Introduction Quantification of adipose tissue in the skeletal muscle is of growing interest to understand mechanisms of muscle weakness during aging and in diseases such as sarcopenia and cachexia. Magnetic resonance image, imaging of the mid thigh is the preferred anatomical location for such measurements, as shown in figure 1 on the left. The aim is to quantify intramuscular adipose tissue or IMAT shown in yellow in figure 1 on the right. For this purpose, we need to segment the fascia lata shown as a pink contour in figure 1 in the middle, which is a thin layer of fibrous tissue enclosing all the thigh muscles to separate the IMAT shown in yellow from the muscle tissue. The fascia lata segmentation is difficult time-consuming and often requires correction by a medical expert. Therefore, this, this study aimed to use the unit architecture to automate the fascia segmentation and compare its results to an unsupervised classical segmentation approach. Section Methods Data Acquisition we used four different MRI data sets D1 to D4 in this study. As a gold standard, we used the classical level set method to segment the fascia lata with a subsequent correct correction by a medical expert. We also compare the unit results to unsupervised masks, which denote the automatic results of the classical level set segmentation. The unsupervised masks did not include the correction by a medical expert. In data acquisition, the MR imaging protocol is described. Section model. The unit architecture was trained on D1 only. A cohort of 43 elderly men, D2 to E4, were used for testing. The vanilla unit deep neural network architecture was implemented as in the orig original publication, except for the padding per convolution. Atom optimization and dropout regularization was applied. Because of the class imbalance, the region of interest bordered by the fascia lata that is a combination of IMET and muscle tissue as shown in figure 1 on the right was segmented instead of the fascia lata contour. Section 2D and 3D unit. First, the unit was trained on single slices. D1 consisted of 1960 slices from 70 patients. The 2D unit received the full resolution 512 by 512 pixels per image. D1 was shuffled, normalized, and split into training 70%, validation 15%, and testing 15%. As 28 sli slices belong to the same patient, we also implemented a patch 3D unit architecture. For this purpose, we downsampled the images to half the resolution. For the 3D unit, the input was split at patient level into 57 patients for training, 7 for validation, and 6 for testing. The patch size was restricted to 4 slices. The 2D unit and patch 3D unit used a linear combination of dice loss and weighted cross entropy as a loss function, as detailed on the poster. Section Training for the training, the initial weights were obtained from a pre-trained model on the segmentation of the cross-sectional thigh area. A grid search with 10-fold cross-validation found optimum values for alpha 0.2 and the learning rate of 2 times 10 to minus 4. Training of the 2D model took 2 hours for 12 epochs on an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1066 GB GPU. The last six epochs were, were trained at a learning rate of 2 times 10 to minus 5 to refine the results. Additional parameters are given in the training section of the poster. Section assessment of accuracy compared to gold standard. We compare the results of the 2D and 3D unit architecture first to the gold standard segmentation and second with the unsupervised segmentation using four different metrics as shown on the po poster. The dye similarity coefficients, the surface dye similarity coefficients, the Hauser distance, and the average symmetric surface distance. 
Section Results. The results of the 2D unit architecture are shown on Table 1 and Figure 2 on the upper right of the poster. The 3D unit results are shown on Table 2 and Figure 3 below. All values in the tables compare the model listed on the, da the data set with the gold standard. One can see that the 2D unit results in general are numerically superior to those of the unsupervised classical segmentation. Statistical tests still have to be performed. As expected, the 2D unit results obtained for data sets 1 which was used for training of the neural network are numer numerically superior to those of the three, da of the three data sets. In figure two, the top row shows the 2D segment, uh, unit segmentation results and the bottom row shows the subtraction between the gold standard and the 2D unit results. The four examples show typical results and demonstrate excellent outcome of the 2D unit model. In populations with higher fat infiltration, in particular the elderly women of data set 4, the results of the 2D unit architecture required more extensive manual corrections by medical experts than in the other three populations, but this was also the case for the unsupervised set level technique. Figure 3 shows the comparison between the 2D and 3D unit results for three specific subjects. In general, resu results were comparable, but the 3D unit tended to result in less convex facial lat lata contour. In particular, in, in subjects where the unit resulted in some outliers, such as the one seen in data set 2. Overall, the 2D unit architecture significantly reduced the manual corrections time by 30 to 50 percent. These corrections have to be applied by a medical expert. The reduction of manual correction time is therefore of high relevance for clinical studies in which typically a large number of data that has to be analyzed. Section Discussion Two different unit models were implemented for the segmentation of the fascia lata. Although the models were only trained on images of, of older men, both approaches delivered excellent results for young men, and with minor limitations also for elderly women, which have a higher amount of intramuscular adipose, adipose tissue. The models were able to predict the fascia lata segmentation with higher accuracy than the unsupervised method and halved the time for fi final manual corrections by a medical expert. The patch 3D approach showed slightly lower accuracy in the test data set, but produced smoother, le less convex segmentation. Results in elderly men indicated that higher subcutaneous and intramuscular adipose tissue content caused poorer segmentation. We expect that results can be further improved if data from both genders and at different ages and 3D information will be included in the training data.